First and foremost, I would like to thank President Dottavio, Provost Murray, the faculty, staff, and the graduating class of 2019 for granting me this opportunity to speak to you all today. Most importantly, I want to thank our families, not only for being with us to celebrate this milestone, but for the endless support you've given us throughout the years. The words thank you will never be enough. Our journey through college has been one of the most challenging we've faced, and we would not be here if it wasn't for you. These past few years have indeed been very challenging for all of us, but adversity is part of life. It presents itself in all shapes and sizes, and it is something that every person in this room has experienced. Adversity isn't something that knocks us down or keeps us from success. It's a gift that shapes us into the people we have become and the people we will become. College has many adversities, from the seemingly endless assignments and late nights spent studying for exams, to the early mornings after beating the drum at 3 a.m. for homecoming, to the sometimes nightmare we called parking, and finding the grit and stamina to manage all of these things while dealing with the sucker punches that life sometimes likes to throw our way. All of those adversities shaped us into who we are. Yet, here we are, despite those adversities, getting ready to walk the stage and receive our college diplomas. Congratulations. My greatest adversity in life thus far came in the form of cancer when I was 17. It was spring of my senior year in high school. I was very active in school and extracurricular activities, and I was happy. I was ready to graduate, to walk the stage, and to turn the page to my next chapter in life. But cancer doesn't take you, your plans, or your feelings into account. It comes into your life like a wrecking ball, equipped to crush dreams and hopes. Sorry, cancer, but you did not succeed. I'm going to be completely honest and I'm going to tell you all something that has probably never been said in a commencement speech before. Tarleton was not my first choice. I came to Tarleton because it was 15 minutes away from home and that's what my doctor recommended I do if I wanted to go to college without taking a break. Let me just take a minute to thank cancer for helping me make the best decision that I have ever made in my life. All of us here at Tarleton are a family. We have each other's backs and we take care of our own. We have an undying sense of loyalty to this campus, its traditions, and our core values. When I made the decision to become a Tarleton Texan, I inherited the best support system I could have ever asked for. I also know that the gates are always open and that this is a support system that I will never lose. I have met so many incredible people during my time at Tarleton, as I'm sure we all have. I was blessed with incredible professors and mentors, fellow students, and an extensive family of people I will never meet but whom I know will always support me. From the day I lit my candle at Convocation, I knew that I was a part of the Tarleton family and nothing could ever change that. My illness, this adversity, shaped me into a person I am proud to be today. It made me a Tarleton Texan and it brought me home. Because of it, I was able to study at a school where our core values are integrated into every part of our collegiate experience. And I was able to experience some of the best traditions in Texas. I made friends that will last a lifetime. And I learned things from my professors that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. So once again, thank you, Cancer. After today, we're all going to part ways. Those of us graduating from the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences will go on to feed America, to be ag educators, or to conserve our natural resources. Those graduating from the College of Education have been cultivated to serve others selflessly in a variety of socially significant careers. Some of us will continue our education, either here or at another institution. But no matter where life takes us, Tarleton will always be a beacon of light our own purple lighthouse to guide us back whenever we need it. 
Class of 2019, I encourage you to follow your dreams. Embrace adversity. Carry our core values with you every day and show this world why we are so proud to be Tarleton Texans. As our color song proudly states, all hail the proud defenders of the purple and the white. Thank you.